I'm fly I mean, I'm was. the gunner in it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, dude. I'm with. Oh no. <laughs> and we're dead. <laughs> Are you flying it? Oh no, you're a gunner. I'm, sh I'm a gunner in it. Tell me this game is not visually unreal, dude. Oh my god, yeah. Something about like the dice games back in the mid 2010s was just like insane in the visuals. What is this pilot doing? Is this thing just kind of rolling? No, someone's flying this. Oh, he jumped. He jumped. Oh, he jumped. Oh Here, I got it. Uh, I got oh, the okay. plane. <laughs> I'm helming it. The, the plane has a steering wheel, dude. Line him up and I'll knock him down. You know, Kev, I think I'm going to jump out right over C. Actually, I bet we can fly it into a guy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Ah, no, no, bail, no. bail. Oh my god. Okay, I'm alive. I'm gonna try and snipe hey, me over here. No! Don't worry, I've got the rigatoni gun. Gigant I had like the gigantic dinner plate. I didn't even realize what I was doing. It was on it. Like the World War One setting, honestly, is what like turned me off to the game. Like initially, where I was like, yeah, I don't know, I'm not that into that. But then I played it, and I was like, oh my gosh, they made it fun, like mm -hmm. really fun. Dog fights, Leo. That just looks so cool. <laughs> Get him, Wedge. Kev, behind you, behind you, behind you, Kev. Well, in the house. Yep. Ah. Nice dude, and there might be one. No, 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 there's another one. How do I, how do I get you back up here? Sir, nope, not that. Four. Yeah, we're good. Nice. Take Thank your you, shots. Bro. Still there. Oh, that's and, a grenade. That's oh. a grenade. No. Oh. oh my gosh. Where is he? First I think floor. I killed myself yeah, yeah. With my own gas oh, he's on first floor. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're all back in A now. Oh, there's a tank. Oh, repair. I can repair my own tank. That guy lasted a hundred years. What a beast, man. I can't believe this is one of those things where I just can't believe it's a game. I felt the same way about Battlefront 2, dude. It's like uh, a okay. fight on B. We should, know. You got a tank right behind you, dude. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, I'll be fine. I might get the kill. There we go. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta hop. I gotta hop. We gotta go. We gotta go, man. What the heck was that gun? Is there something with this game too where they didn't have it so then if you shot on, with an unsuppressed weapon, then like you don't show up on the radar? I don't know. I know very little about Battlefield 1 mechanics. I'm gonna go over to E, try to cap that, mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Oh, that's a freaking plane. Oh, no wonder. <gasps> Flamethrower? Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Our yeah, I've become the pyro from TF2. Let's go, dude. You get the flamethrower. Mm. I watched the trailer recently. I don't remember why for the campaign of this game. Mm -hmm. Dude, I almost got emotional. It was such a good trailer, and they literally had the uh, battlefield like da 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 like worked into the orchestral score. If you haven't seen it, you should go back and watch it. It's like a master class. I just like, remember the one where it had like the uh, the Seven Nation Army. It was like dubstep version, but it was for World War One. <laughs> The new uh, 2042 trailer was pretty sick. Oh, it yeah. just came out for the new season. Totally agree. Like, that actually got me hyped. I'm like, I actually kind of want to play that now. Oh, he was in the bushes. What a sick play. Burn, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where are you at? Where'd you spawn, Kev? I'm over on C right now. Just captured it. I am a team player. PTFO, man. Oh yeah. my god. We are losing objective Charlie. No, we're losing Charlie. Oh, there's a big tank on it. That's why. Ah, run. Okay, hit the tank. Yeah, I'm just the pyro. I don't have much range. He knows I'm there. Burn, bitch! That's right, run! Oh, you tried baiting enemy. No, 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 no. Not like that, dude. Are you able to switch out of being like the the pyro guy, or was you just kind of like pyro until you die? <laughs> Everybody's just hiding in this one little building. <laughs> Tank is on fire. It looks really low health. <laughs> I just see the body go I'm flying. It. Get it, baby girl. Yeah! Dude, that was a full house right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like three bodies. It always kind of put me off of like what the phonetic alphabet that they use in this game. Like Apples and butter and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, is this just straight out of like Battlefield Friends reference? I wonder if it's like the like the British military language at the time. Right? I think I I actually think it is. Cause I remember like hearing someone tell me about that. I was like, I just this is stupid. Why would they change it from Alpha to like apples? I was like, well, that's because what they use back in the day. I'm like, what? I, I'm telling you what. There's nothing more pleasant than being like, we've taken objective apples. And then if you go out to the other like longer sightline desert portion, it's like if I don't have a yeah. glass on. I was playing on this earlier, and I I think this might be one of the like prettiest maps in all of Battlefield. This one actually has more, more color to it. A lot of them are very kind of drab. I mean, it is yeah. war, so yeah, it makes sense, but like... And it'll change throughout the match. Like, oh, yeah? the fog of war will roll in, 
and it will rain and then it clears up and what i loved about like the way they did it is the actual gameplay in the map changes right as fog of war comes in or the rain gets really heavy or whatever you'll have to switch to closer quarter weapons and the snipers don't play the same like role that they did dude cinnabon sounds so good right now when doesn't it sound good though that's a that's a true statement that's a true factual <laughs> statement like no i don't want a delicious piece of dough wrapped in butter and cinnamon roll and, I and cinnamon and icing that just doesn't sound good to me taking objective chuckles dude that's sick i mean you could have charlie or you could have chuckles i'm going for chuckles <laughs> or if we're gonna do it like if it's gonna be charlie it has to be charlie oh throwback <laughs> bro showing our age man excuse like, me while i boom here for a second Did I have the there we go. Okay, out of all the Battlefield games, which one did you play the most? Mm, I mean, it's kind of a toss up between Battlefield 3 and 4. I'd probably give it to Battlefield 3. I feel like Battlefield 3 I played more. Battlefield 3 was pretty perfect. Did you have a PC back then or were you on console? Uh, Battlefield 3 is what got me in the PC game. I first played it on the Xbox and that's all like what you could do on PC. I'm like, oh, I need to do that. So I, I remember playing the Battlefield 3 beta on the 360 and loving it. It was like peak gaming time like i was loving gaming so much at that that point in my life mm -hmm. and then got the full game for 360 and i i poured i wish i could go back and see what playtime was because yeah i poured a ton of time into that game and i know now that i've probably played more battlefield 4 but i never i never had a pc mm -hmm. for battlefield 3 I, I didn't get a console literally or excuse me i didn't build a pc until 2017 so battlefield 1 was sort of my first pc battlefield oh really um and then I went back and played a lot of Battlefield 4 PC. I loved it. Loved it man. Okay, then the real question is, what is the favorite uh, Battlefield game for you? It's it's a test. It's a toss up between Battlefield 3 and 4 for me. It's kind of sad. Battlefield 3 is not all that playable anymore. Mm -hmm. Like population isn't really there. I feel kind of bad. Like we're just team balance. I've been killing the same guy three times in a row now. I got another one. Let's go. Oh my god, that tank's looking at me. Ah! Back to the trenches. Yeah, get him out of here. Mr. Tank, oh, I was trying to get a thumbnail, bro. <laughs> the sun's come out and it's gorgeous. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is too crazy. Dude, you lived? How did you live? I'm a sneaky assassin with a sniper You're rifle. A sneaky one. Do you see it? <laughs> Oh, there, there it is. Oh, guys, looking right at me. Yeah, dude, run. Ah! <laughs> Good call, because I was going to land right on my head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shoot the horse. I wanted to shoot you, not the horse. No! I got ran over my horse. Oh, get him out of here. Dude, look to your left. Look at the ship. Oh, my gosh. I just realized it's the Suez Canal. Oh, now it's mimicking real life then with the ship blocking the canal. We got, uh, stuck? All right, question. <laughs> Why, how is it the battlefield can carry such, like, redonkulously good numbers for these older games, which cost money? They're not free to play. They go on sale a lot, which is great. But it is sort of ludicrous when you look at the Steam charts for Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1. Like... The Battlefield community is still huge. I know. How did they do it? I have honestly could not really tell you because for all accounts, like Battle especially like Battlefield 242 should just be like just de a dead game. But somehow yeah. still kick it. I think and also especially even also with uh Battlefield 5, and remember correctly now, a whole lot of people were big fans of BF5 back in the day. Yeah, Battlefield 5 was pretty jank at launch. I played from the very get-go, and it was not great. But they ultimately they did the thing that they always seem to do, where, like, DICE makes the game pretty, like, legit, dude. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I think also just, like, Battlefield just has a certain type of gameplay you can't really get anywhere else. For very evergreen, it's so... It's got incredible replayability. I, I do... I find it crazy, though, because I look at some of those numbers and I am just blown away. Like, somebody who typically has been playing, like, some older FPS games a lot on the channel the last few years, you know? It's super happy to see some of the resurgences these games have. It really seems like when they do put it on sale on Steam, the numbers go through the roof. If that doesn't bode well, like, for whatever the next game is, I am super sad to see that Ridgeline got shut down. Mm -hmm. 
we're probably no! not going to see what, whatever Marcus was working on. I mean, also the original thing, that, but that was all with this like, single player stuff. And I mean, I don't really know why Battlefield even bothers putting together single player anymore. Like, maybe just more like a legacy thing from just like the days when all games launched with like a multiplayer in a campaign and stuff like that. But honestly, like, I've never played a Battlefield game where I'm like, oh, the campaign's so good. I, I heard BF1s was like fairly good, but I'm with you. I didn't, I didn't play it. And the single player stuff I do remember playing. I remember like Battlefield 3s was pretty sweet, like for the immersion. Like, do you remember the trailers and stuff? Like how hype when they revealed the Battlefield 3 trailer, how unreal the game looked and just sounded. Oh yeah, like it was incredible. And I feel like, I don't know, you got Vince Pella and their whole idea is like to create an entire experience. So the rumor is free Battle Royale to get mm -hmm. people into the universe the same way like Warzone does for Call of Duty. Premium multiplayer, and then probably like the premium campaign experience. And maybe they were thinking like live service campaign y stuff. That probably sounds very, very much like an idea they'd be pumped on. Like, this will be an ever evolving story where we always are selling a new $30 thing. <laughs> really sound like a real EA employee over here. Hey, I'm <gasps> just saying Spartan Ops was ahead of the curve. If they would have made it a better experience. Oh my gosh. Yeah, seriously. Dude. Like, it would have been awesome. People want episodic content single player wise for Halo, right? Obviously they want full campaigns, but I'm just saying like if they had done a DLC for Infinite, I guarantee you so many people would have been like immediately on board with it. Dude, I wish there was campaign DLC for Halo. It would have been so but good. Campaign for Infinite just set itself up so well for that. And then just, no. And the campaign did look awesome. I thought the like visuals and the cutscenes were all like really nice to look at. Mm-hmm. Woo! I throw a headshot. I still go back and like look at cutscenes and I'm like, this looks awesome. And are you seeing some of the content people are uploading where they're talking about how cool it is that Halo's cutscenes like infinite are in engine real time, so they'll throw down like a bunch of shock coils or whatever at the base of like <laughs> a boss coming down an elevator and the yeah. boss will just die in the cutscene. Oh yeah, I've definitely done that a few times. Like it's actually kind of a way to kind of cheese like, some of the uh, moments in the game, which is pretty cool. I love that. That is so cool, dude. Is there a fully auto assault rifle for the medic class? Cause I feel like I really need it <laughs> for this map. I don't know about the medic. I'm running the uh, Automatico, the M1918. Yep, soldiers! This all class with the M1918 Automatico. That thing is, uh, it rips. Because I know what you mean. This is one of those maps where it's like, bro, I got to have something that just shreds, you know? This is unbelievable, <laughs> Kev. Just the constant borders, the smoke, the, like, whole sound design of this thing. I think I could play Battlefield 1 for another, like, five years be perfectly happy the amount of destruction that's happening on this map right now is crazy it's just total chaos super chaos dude that was fun